Dr. Arnita Fowler. Today we are here on behalf of all missing persons across the country, but more so to highlight the problem we have in New York State. New York State is one of the top five states with the highest reported number of missing persons. So the question we have to ask ourselves, is Governor Cuomo doing enough for the citizens of the United States? Right now, I can tell you that 7,796 adults went missing last year. And yet, that none of the data captures those who are between ages 22 and 63. My 19-year-old son went missing about 15 years ago. He was 19 at the time, and the law said 18. The problem is that I had to search for my son on my own because there is no current law to this date that says anyone between the ages of 62 and 63 is protected by the law. And my question for the governor is how can we have a law that covers and protects one group of people while neglecting another group of people? My son was missing for four years, only to find out that they had found my son six days after I reported him missing, held his body in the city morgue, and then buried him in Pottersville while I yet looked. Not only has it happened to me, it has happened to Ramona Moore, Jamaica Moore, Tamara Blaine. And those are just some of the recent cases that I have pulled out for study. And so as long as we continue to have this problem or uh, refuse to sign the bill that's on the, the governor's desk now, we're going to continue to have people that are missing, that are going to be uh, at risk of being caused more harm, and that sometimes may be held against their will or murdered. We do not want another Ohio state where there are people held against their will and no one is looking for them. And that's what we have done. We have become enablers of the very problem of this law. If we don't look for them, then no one else, someone else will probably cause them harm. So today we're just simply asking the governor to sign the bill S3790 that has been sitting in his possession for the past 60 days. I, I became irate when I discovered that for 60 days they had done nothing with this bill, didn't even know that they had all the documentation they had requested from us in their possession. And so as we continue to have our supporters call the governor, we're just asking him to please don't turn a deaf eye and don't turn a deaf ear to this situation any longer. As long as they have this law uh, sitting on his desk and not signed, we have no way of tracking those who are still missing. Families will continue to look for a long time. Their cases will become cold cases. And at the same time, they can become victims of human trafficking problems. I know what it's like to look for your loved one. I know what it's like to look alone. And I vowed 15 years ago, my son was missing, that I would take this battle on. My frustration is that nothing has changed and nothing has happened. But finally, the bill passed the Senate and Assembly unanimously in June. There is no reason for Governor Cuomo not to sign this bill. We ask him to come down, join us, stand side by side, and see what the problem is, and see if he can resolve this problem sooner than later. And right now, I'd like for you to be able to speak to Senator uh, Jane Sanders, who sponsored the bill, and it passed unanimously, and then Assemblyman Barron, who also uh, facilitated the process of the bill passing in the Assembly. Dr. Fowler, we, the people of New York City, owe you uh, a great deal of, of gratitude. You have done what we want people to do. You have done uh, a everyday citizen taking on these issues, taking it on. This is the stuff that they make movies out of. This is Smith Goes to Washington. All those things that say an everyday citizen in this great democracy of ours can take it and make it happen. I'm sure that this stumbling block that you're meeting will be uh, will be overcome. Um, I also want to thank Assemblymember Barron, who just got to Albany and is already taking things and moving them in an incredible fashion. Uh, we expect more and greater things from you at this rate. I'm a Marine Corps veteran and we make a statement that says we leave nobody behind. Now we mean that literally. We mean the body of the person if need be. So to me this kind of fits. That when we go home, we take every body home. You may not go in the same way, but we take everybody. I think it's time for our governor to be a good Marine. I think it's time that he understands that we will leave nobody behind. 
that we will let everybody know who's being held against their will that the state of New York will go to no effort, will spare no effort to find them. That we will turn over everything and we will put every one of our agencies, including the police department, to work on this. We can do nothing less than that for the people of New York. So I'm grateful for Dr. Fowler and Assemblymember Barron for bringing this opportunity for the state of New York to stand with all of the people of New York. And we are, to me, this is a, it's a defining moment when our governor can come out and, and he can prove that he is the Marine that we want him to be. We leave nobody behind, even if they're over 18 and less than 63. We will leave nobody behind. Thank you very much. Um, governor Cuomo signed the bill. As we sit here and talk, someone's missing. Someone's missing that can be found if they look for immediately. All of the statistics say the sooner you search for a person, the higher the possibility there is to find the person. So Governor Cuomo signed the bill so that within 24 hours, everybody, no matter what race, age, gender, everybody will be looked for immediately. This is critical because when Ramona Moore was missing in 2003, her mother went to the police precinct and asked them to look for her daughter who did not come home that night. They said to her, oh, she's probably out partying with her boyfriend. Let's give it more time. Ramona Moore was 24 years old, honor student at Hunter College, a Christian woman, would never stay out all night without her mother and father knowing what it was all about. And they reported that to them. They made them wait for several days. They finally contacted me. I went to the priest and said, you're gonna look for her right now because on that same day, a white woman was missing and they looked for her and she was over in her 20s as well. They looked for her immediately. Nobody had to put no pressure on them. The police captains took had a press conference, they put the news out that she was missing, and they went into gear immediately. Do the same thing for black and Latino and all people that are missing. So Ramona Moore was found several days later or weeks later, tortured and murdered. And they found her right in the vicinity of the precinct and where she lived. Had they looked for her right away, had this bill been in place, Ramona Moore would still be alive today, but the likelihood of them finding her would have been extremely high. So Governor Cuomo, this is a life and death issue. This is not just another one of those 100 bills that are on your desk. Pull it out, sign it, and save lives.